Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be a collection video of all of the wax that I own. I am very new to the wax melting community. Um, I barely started maybe two months ago collecting wax and melting wax and really got into it. And yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys kind of like my beginner's collection. I went crazy at a few different places um, buying wax. So currently I am on a wax no buy. So I thought a collection video would be fun to share with you guys. And also while I'm trying to reduce my collection um, before I can buy some stuff for fall, I'm really excited for wax melting in fall. I'm so pumped. Um, I feel like I need to burn through or melt through a lot of this stuff before I can st start buying again for the fall. Um, so I just want to share with you guys where my collection is right now at this very moment. So I hope that you're excited. I know there is like a wax collection tag going around. Um, to Wick Chick on YouTube, I had just recently found her channel and she did the same kind of video where she shared her collection. She has a huge collection. She's been... Um, melting wax she said for like six years i think or longer and so she has a huge collection she buys um vendor wax and supports small businesses and also buys you know regular wax from the store um but i have not yet gotten into vendor wax or anything like that i hope to in the fall um but for now this is everything that i have really just some stuff from walmart sonoma um, some Target wax, uh, a few things from Dollar Tree, and some Scentsy. So that's everything that I have to share with you guys. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So I did want to just insert a little clip right here of the dresser that we do store our wax in. Um, it is like a little antique dresser. I just put it in the little drawer up top and I've kind of given myself uh, that one little space to be able to store all of my wax so that hopefully I won't, you know, have like way too much and it won't fit in that drawer. I'm kind of limiting myself to that one little drawer of space to be able to store everything. So I'm going to start off kind of in order of when I bought stuff. So the first thing that I have is actually given to me by my mom's friend Katie and she gave this to me for Christmas time and she kind of assumed that I had a wax melter which my mom used to w melt wax when we were little, um, but I think it, it made my brother's allergies flare up and his asthma flare up, so she stopped melting it. Um, and we really, ha we really haven't done any of that kind of stuff in a very long time since we were very little. So she used to melt Scentsy, she told me, and she had a Scentsy warmer too. It was really cute. I remember it like lighting up in our kitchen and it always smelled really good, um, but we haven't used that in a very long time, so I haven't had that kind of experience. Um, but she gave this to me in uh, for Christmas, and it is salted caramel brittle from homemade fusion i believe they sell this at kroger and it's kind of like a caramel color it smells like straight up caramel it smells really good it smells like caramel brittle um which is exactly what it's supposed to be um but caramel scents are my absolute favorite so this one's like really really yummy my mom however is not the biggest fan so i've only done one cube um she doesn't like too sweet scents but I'll probably get away with this more in the fall time. Um, but this is kind of what prompted me to look into buying some wax melters. And then I actually went to Target and I did, you know, as you do, you just roam around Target, see what they have. And I stumbled down the clearance section of clearance candles and I found some clearance wax. So I found this three pack of clearance wax with pumpkin spice, caramel latte, and vanilla bean and amber. I assume this is from like the fall and that's why it was being clearanced. This was maybe like February or March, probably February. Um, and this is... It's a 12 count. There's like four little bricks, skinny bricks of each um, scent. I burned through the other two. I still have some pumpkin spice just because I can't bring myself to burn pumpkin spice right now. Um, but I did get through caramel latte, which is really good. Kind of smelled very similar to this salted caramel brittle. Um, and I burned through vanilla bean and amber. I seriously loved that one. Um, but yeah, this is what prompted me to get a warmer. So I found this and I found a warmer on sale for $10, which is also the one that I have on that little dresser with all my wax. Um, and that's in the living room, by the way. And um, yeah, that's what prompted me to start melting wax. And then I bought a little plug-in warmer that I have in my office at work. And um, that I used to melt some very like low, um, low scented wax, like not very high throwing just because it is my office and I share that space with a lot of other people. Um, so I don't want 
anything to like annoy them. But yeah, that's what prompted the wax melting addiction. Um, and then I did go to um, Kohl's and I had something to return there. And so I went ahead and looked at their Sonoma waxes and I do have two Sonoma waxes. I have a uh, Summerberry Lemonade. This one is like really, really yummy, tart and fruity with like pink wax. It smells like lemonade. I burned this last night or melted this last night. It smells super fresh and fruity, really good for spring. I'm, I'm <laughs> spilling wax. And then I got confetti birthday cake, which is this like white wax. And it's not very strong. This is like not a strong wax at all, but it definitely smells like birthday cake. It smells super good. It smells like icing actually more than it smells like cake, but still pretty good. Probably won't buy it again because it's not very strong. Um, but yeah, those are the two Sonoma waxes that I have. And then I made another order on Target and I bought I um, bought a backup of Vanilla Bean and Amber because I had gone through um, the little scent pack that I had in here. So I bought a Vanilla Bean and Amber and this is the Threshold brand at Target. Um, I think this might be the only brand they sell. I don't know for sure, but it basically smells like clean laundry or like you just clean the house. Super like just a fresh scent. So I really, really like this one. Nice for just when I don't really want anything like fruity or bakery. And then I got Cozy Cashmere, which I have not melted yet. Um, and this one is gray wax, very light gray wax. Same lines, along those same lines, it's like a clean scent, but it might have like a little bit of lavender because my mom was thinking she, she wouldn't like it. She doesn't like floral scents. I think it has like a little bit of either like lavender or eucalyptus or something, but yeah, that's Cozy Cashmere. And then I actually was on the hunt for a little tea light wax warmer to put in my bathroom. And I stumbled upon some waxes at the Dollar Tree um, while I was looking for a melter at the Dollar Tree, which I didn't find. I actually found it at Walmart later on, um, but I did pick up two waxes from the Dollar Tree. I have vanilla and this is a white wax it is very very light like when i was melting it in um our downstairs warmer couldn't smell it at all it is an open concept room so that's probably why um i melted it in our bathroom and you could kind of smell it with that uh tea light warmer but it actually performs really really well in my office so i leave this one in the office it's like it's just a straight up plain vanilla scent just smells like kind of sweet very subtle um so i really like this for my office and then i also have toasted marshmallow which i leave in my office too i brought these home this weekend just so i could show you them in this video um but it smells basically like um what is it called fires no bonfire no fire what is it called you guys from bath and body works marshmallow fireside it smells exactly like marshmallow fireside super yummy and like I said, with the other one, it's a very light thrower, but it's perfect for my office. So those are the only two that I have from Dollar Tree, and this is the brand Luminescence. And then I decided to go on a Walmart binge shopping spree for buying wax, and I recorded it. I do have a video on that. If you wanna go, go and watch that, I'll like link it up above, and you can go and see that and see everything that my store had. But I picked up some really fun scents, and um yeah so the first thing i picked up was galletas de calavera which is sugar skull cookies from sensationals um, i only have two sensationals waxes but this smells like just straight up sugar cookie it smells so good it kind of reacts a little oddly in my warmer which i have a 25 watt bulb warmer so that might be why um it looked like i kind of got burnt um but when i use this in my warmer at work which i think is a 15 watt little plug-in warmer it worked perfectly fine it smelled really great like i would almost have to turn it off it would get so strong but really really good scent and then also from sensationals i have strawberries and cream um i really picked this up because i was thinking like springtime i would love a berry scent it smells like strawberries. It kind of smells like Jolly Ranchers a little bit. This is like a really good performer. It only lasts for maybe like four, six hours, but it smells really, really good, very tart and um, springy. So it's a really good one too. And then also on that same trip, I got some from Better Homes and Gardens. I got banana pumpkin bread. I had heard so many great things about um, this one and it really does smell like pumpkin bread. I'm sorry, banana bread with a little bit of spice which banana bread has cinnamon in it anyways. So yeah, but my mom's not the biggest fan of this one. So I've only melted it once. Um, we have lemon pumpkin shortbread. Also one that was recommended by a lot of people here on YouTube that I was watching. 
and it is like slightly lemony and i definitely get where the like pumpkin aspect comes in it's a little spicy yeah it's pretty good um not my favorite but still pretty good i've only melted it once and then i have orange cinnamon rolls this one was really really yummy um i melted it when it was actually cold last week for the first time and it smelled so amazing like literally when i came downstairs i was like wow wait what does that smell is my mom making something no it was this it smells very cinnamony um i can definitely see this being like a staple in the fall I'm probably gonna buy like go through this whole thing and buy another one in the fall. Um, it's really really good, nice and cinnamony. I love cinnamon scents, um, but yeah, really really good one, very strong. And then actually my favorite that I've probably out of all of these so far is vanilla and peach from Better Homes and Gardens. So yummy! It is a peach wax. Um, I've melted it twice already. It is so good. My mom loves it. I love it. It is like a creamy peach scent. So good for like spring and summer. Mm, it just smells amazing and it performs really, really well in our open concept on the warmer. And then a different um, visit that I did to Walmart, I picked up these two from Mainstays. These are like the 98 cent, I think, um, waxes. They're very small, super thin. Um, but this is sugared berries. I picked these two up specifically for my warmers at work because I figured maybe because they're so cheap, they'll be a lot less um, strong, which this one is actually pretty strong. It just smells like straight up berries. I've burned this already twice and I've really only had it for like three weeks or two weeks maybe. Um, it's a really good one. I'm, I'm really liking it. I think I'm going to go back and get some more of these 98 cent um, packs once I've ran out of all the ones that are at my work. And then I have apple cider donut which I know is like very seasonal, but I bought it when it was still cold here. Like we had a cold spurt last week or two weeks ago and it smelled really good. It's definitely like a, um, it's definitely like an apple scent with a little bit of spice. I might have to wait till uh, closer to fall to melt the rest of this. I've only melted one cube. And then I went to a trade show and they had a Scentsy consultant there and I bought some Scentsy. It was buy five, get one free. And so I got six bars and um, I'm gonna go through the ones that I've melted already first. So the first one I have is Tangerine Cream Sickle. Now this one is actually probably my favorite with um, vanilla and peach. Both of these are my favorites so far. Um, actually, there's another one in here that's another one of my favorites um but this one is literally like a creamsicle so good especially for spring just like a nice fruity simple sweet scent it's got a little bit of vanilla with like the tangerine it just smells really nice and simple and my mom loves it and i love it so everybody's happy when i melt this one i've only melted it once though so um and then I will say the Scentsy ones last so much longer. I didn't really believe it at first when everybody was saying that, but they definitely do. Like I could have this going for two days versus the other ones maybe only like four hours or so. And then I have this lemon one in Squeeze the Day. It's literally so bright. I've only burnt it or melted it once. It smells like Pledge. It is so strong lemon. Um, this is really good for if you had just like cleaned the house or you want it to smell like you just cleaned the house. It's really good. It's very strong. I bet you you could use this after like cooking tacos or something to get the scent out of your house. It'd be really good. Um, very, very strong. No complaints here. <laughs> Not my favorite because it's super strong, but it's really, really good. And then I have vanilla bean buttercream, which I'm actually melting downstairs right now. This is also one of my favorites. I'd say those three are my top favorites, vanilla um, vanilla and peach and tangerine creamsicle. These three are my top favorites right now. Um, it smells like I'm making cookies. I literally thought it smelled like vanilla extract. Like that's pretty much what it smells like to me. So yummy. You can't even get a good sense of the smell on cold. Um, it really smells amazing when it's warming. So good so strong lasts a very long time and then the three that i have not yet melted from scentsy i have perfectly pomegranate i was getting ones really for like spring and summer um and then i figured getting like a pomegranate scent would be really good it's yeah it just smells like pomegranate to be honest very simple very very fruity i'm excited to melt this one and then i have cocoa lime which i figured would be really good for summer it's it's like a coconut lime scent very simple it smells really really good it kind of reminds me of like candy i can't finger point exactly what candy it is 
but it definitely reminds me of like some sort of limes, lime flavored candy. It smells really good. And then I picked this one up kind of on a whim. It smelled like soda to me when I was smelling it there, but Silver Bells, and this is from I think last winter. Um, I picked this up in February or maybe March. I think February though. To me, it smelled like soda when I was like, it smelled like Sprite when I was smelling it there. But now I definitely get like, there's supposed to be mint in this. I definitely get the mint. I might have to wait till closer to winter time to burn this or melt this. But I don't think a mint scent, like you can't really go wrong with a mint scent. But I probably shouldn't have picked this up right now. Like I should have waited till the fall or the winter um, or whenever it came out again. But I picked it up anyways and it still smells good. I really think it smells like Sprite. Like I don't know what that is, but it smells like Sprite. Okay, so that is everything that I have for wax melts. I don't have a lot, like I said. Let me go ahead and count how many I have. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. I have 22 wax melts, which actually is kind of a lot now that I think about it um, compared to where I wanna be. I wanna finish off a few of these um, before I buy some more. Um, hopefully I can buy some more in the summer or the fall. Um, but I do want to get through like a lot of these before repurchasing any more, any new ones, which a few of them I'm like actually pretty close to finishing, especially the ones at work. So maybe I'll start bringing um, some of these other ones to work with me and trying to finish them off that way. But yeah, that is everything for all my wax. Let me know down below if any of these ones that I mentioned are some of your favorites and let me know some suggestions you have. Um, I probably won't be buying any in the next couple of months but I might put them on my list for later on. I know that you guys probably have some really good suggestions, so I'm curious to see what your absolute favorites are from probably like all of these different collections or all these different brands. I'm really curious what your absolute favorites are. I just told you guys my favorites. Um, so yeah, let me know down below what your favorites are. And thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.